G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist. If you're looking for no bullshit product reviews and recommendations, you came to the right place. But the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and gravelcyclist.com website are not all about product reviews. There are ride experience videos, a newbie section, an events calendar, press releases, musing stories and a whole lot more. So take your time and browse those entities. Enough claptrap today, I'm here to inform you of the best bottle cages going for riding your bicycle on the gravelly road less traveled. What's the requirement? Well, it's very simple really. These bottle cages should not be ejecting bottles. I've lost count of the number of people I've seen at events pre-COVID-19 whose bikes eject bottles, which is bad in two ways. One, their bottle goes flying into the woods or onto the road and they lose it and lose their hydration. Or two, someone like myself might come riding along, roll over the bottle and potentially crash. So it's a lose all round. And number two, the bottle cages should be reasonably light. What I'm about to show you comes from years of experience, about 14 or 15 years in the case of one of these cages. That's about how long I've been up to with this madness on the gravelly road less traveled. I've ridden every one of these cages with your traditional 20 ounce size bottle and the very large Zephyr Magnum bottle that holds about 33 ounces of fluid. First up is the King Titanium Bottle Cage. I've been using this cage from day one. They hold bottles sans ejecting and they do not mark up your bottles. That's a really nice feature. They look good and they're very lightweight. You can bend them like that if you need tighter retention on your bottles and additionally they're made by ron and his crew at king cage in colorado price is 60 dollars us for a cage additionally king cage makes another model of this cage that allows placement of it lower in the frame so basically the mounting tabs are mounted up higher that's really handy for smaller tighter frames you can also buy stainless steel cages that are equivalent to this. I haven't tested those for less money. And Ron also makes some other really cool titanium doodads. You can see all that goodness at kingcage.com. Next is another titanium option. This is the Silca Securo, S-I-C-U-R-O titanium bottle cage. Again, this cage does not eject bottles in my experience and has nice slots in the rear plate so you can position the cage up and down to your heart's delight. These beauties are made in Indianapolis, Indiana and cost about $65 US. You can buy them through their website or through Amazon which I've got linked in the description below. Now it's time for my favorite carbon fiber bottle cage options. First up is the Arundel Davo bottle cage. Many carbon bottle cages are notorious for ejecting bottles. I'm pleased to say this cage has no such issues. Its bottle retention is second to none. In fact, I finished at least one of my certain Midwest gravel races for 200 miles that changed its name recently using a pair of these cages and not one bottle was ejected. I've also racked up many other races and a pile of fun training miles and goof around miles using these bottle cages. One of these will set you back around US $65. The next carbon cage is the Arundel Mandible. This cage is a smidge lighter than the Davo, attributed mostly to its very diminutive design. I've been using these for several months and they have yet to eject a bottle. In fact, I subjected them to some pretty harsh testing during my latest road trip. One such ride was the pre-ride of the Big Sugar NWA Gravel in Bentonville, Arkansas. I rode with three of these with the Zephyr Magnum bottles and a regular 20 ounce bottle, a third bottle, beneath the frame, which I would not ordinarily recommend. But the point is, I did not drop a single bottle anywhere on that course and I descended some of those hills at a pretty serious speed. Some of those descents are quite dodgy as you'll see from the footage I'm overlaying right now. I would never recommend installing a bottle cage beneath the down tube that you've planned to drink from. That's just my personal belief but it was handy having that option during that particular ride because there were very scant rehydration options in the middle of nowhere 
Missouri and Arkansas. One of these beauties will set you back around $75 US and it's available in many different finishes. The final carbon option I recommend is the bottle cage by Calfi Design of La Silva Beach, California. These distinctive cages are available in nude carbon, matte clear or matte gloss. But more important than that, they do not eject bottles. I use these exclusively during my review of Calfi's beautiful Tetra Adventure Gravel Bike, which I've linked in the description below, but I've continued using these cages to this day. No bottles ejected thus far. I have not tested the Calfi bottle cages in the third position scenario beneath the down tube. Like I said before, that's not something I recommend. I love this cage's unique look, their attention factor, and the fact they do not mark up bottles. These are priced anywhere from US $75 to US $99. So there you have it, my rundown of the only bottle cages I will trust on my personal and review gravel bikes. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos such as this one, product reviews, ride experience videos and other madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.